Bree, it's being called the largest rescue package in American history. Early today, lawmakers agreed on a $2 trillion economic stimulus package. It includes direct payments to Americans, $1,200 per adult, $500 per child. Higher income earners will see that amount phased out. There's also more money for unemployment benefits, billions going to small and large businesses, also more money for hospitals and state and local governments. There is still a lot of financial uncertainty in New Jersey. State Treasurer Elizabeth Mayer Moyo told me it's like a financial hurricane has hit the state. She thinks New Jersey should consider whether it could extend its mandated June 30th deadline for a new state budget. I think that's something that uh, people are kind of looking at. Um, you know, constitutionally, we need to have a, a, a year long budget. Um, so I, I think that's something that, that is worth exploring whether we'd want to potentially extend the end of the fiscal year because there are so many unknowns at this point. The treasurer did not rule out additional spending freezes, but she said the administration would continue to make its pension payments. It's also not clear whether there'll be any revenue from state income taxes. The governor is currently considering a bill that would extend the state's tax filing deadline to match the new federal tax filing of July 15th. But as of right now, the state deadline remains April 15th. Unemployed residents are swamping the state's new COVID-19 job portal. You can see the address on the screen right below me. Labor Commissioner Robert Asaro Angelo says more jobs will be added by the end of today. We've had over 100,000 unique users already, if not more. Uh, by the end of today, we're hopeful to have 30,000 uh, job postings up there in essential services and businesses across New Jersey. Tomorrow, the state will release the latest information on the number of people filing for unemployment claims. For more on that, check out John Reitmeyer's story on njspotlight.com. Turning our focus to Wall Street, stocks extended yesterday's big gains. Here are the latest numbers. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by Junior Achievement of New Jersey, announcing its annual Business Hall of Fame J.A. Laureate Legacies at the East Brunswick Hilton on June 9th. Event details online at janj.org.